We were together two years when he was officially diagnosed with MS. I was kind of hit, you know, sideways. I didn't know what it was. It was just, just, just weakness and numbness down my left side of my body. It slowed me down. Um, it made me, t I was very tired. Uh, I didn't have a drive. I didn't have an urge to do anything, to go anywhere. My children were young. Being that he was so depressed, he, he didn't take part in a lot of family activities. They could run circles around me and always wanted to go outside when it was hot, when it was warm out, and it was nice out, and I, and Daddy couldn't go outside. With all the medications that they were giving him, um, nothing really, really helped him. Honestly, at the time, I, would care, I could care less if I was worse or not. Um, I didn't care. I was, at that point, I was defeated. He was kind of like a 90-year-old man. He looked older, he moved like an old man. He, he was just a sad, quiet, very quiet person who lived in our home. My wife, through her job in the medical field, she found Dr. Maida um, at the vascular group. We contacted Dr. Maida's group, and again, they hadn't heard of it, but said uh, the nurse that spoke to me said, Dr. Maida's really into research. He, he's very, um, always on the edge. He, he really, he likes to do new things and learn about new things, so bring your information in. The worst he can say is no, he, he, he can't do it, but bring it. And that was just fantastic meeting him. He's, he's good people. I was excused, I went out to the waiting room, he took Michael into the suite, and I sat for a while um, thinking that Dr. Maida was going to come out and say, well, you know, we tried, we didn't really see anything. But when Dr. Maida came out, he said, I, I, want, I want you to come back, he said, we found something. And uh, I was, amazed. He said he has a blockage. After the procedure, on a follow-up, um, Dr. Maida asked everybody in the room, the nurses and everybody to leave so we could have a few minutes alone. Um, and as I was telling him how I, feel, how I felt, he stopped me mid-sentence and said, uh, you know, I, I can't believe this, this is you. Like, you know, the per this is the person I had the procedure done. I can't believe it because you're speaking now. You're talking to me. Goes, when you were here before, you were just quiet and your wife was answering everything. He looked up at us in tears. He was crying, you know, he, he was tearing up because it was such, the procedure was such a success. I immediately burst into tears and kind of couldn't believe it. It was a great moment. It was a fantastic moment. I, I, we've, finally, there was something that happened in my life with my battle with MS that was good. About a week after the procedure, he began running through the house, literally running through the house, chasing the kids upstairs and downstairs picking them up on his shoulders, reading to them, and taking them for walks. I had more energy, and I was remembering things better. Right away, that, that, was, that was a big, big difference. It's hard to explain that moment. It was relief, um, joy, um, wanting to tell the other people with MS about the procedure. The kids adore him. It was refreshing for them, I think. You know, after the procedure, they kind of thought, whoa, who is this guy? We love it, but they, they didn't know him like that. Um, now they do. Dr. Maida and the vascular group changed my life. And my advice to anybody is to go to Dr. Maida and the vascular group and get this done because if you haven't, there's no reason why you shouldn't with MS. Um, it's still, people still say, oh, you know, it's not, that doesn't work. Well, it does work. Dr. Maida changed our life. As a family, he, he gave hope to our family and he gave me my husband back and he gave my children their father back. Thank you, Rascular Group, you made my daddy better.